Yeah, day's 5th of October, evening time. This little battery here is out of the wise four-wheeler. A little side story on that in a minute. I got it on this real fancy charger that has a battery recondition mode. A battery not old, but her little four-wheeler has a dead short somewhere I didn't find. It drained it down to two and a half volts and trying to uh, bring it back to life with a recondition mode. Let's see what happens there. Harley shop still has my Ultra. Starting to miss it. They swear up and down. They started on it uh, Tuesday, yesterday. That's to be seen. A uh, little soft tail just sitting here being pretty. I still can't ride nothing. I'm trying to find a Dyna. Okay, soft tail has a hidden suspension. Dyna series has exposed rear suspension. I'm looking for an early 2000s model because I got room and I don't have one. So, still looking. Uh, recovery from the heart surgery. One of the side effects is hypersensitivity of the chest muscle group. I guess that's called your pectorals. Left and right. And it's hard to describe it. Intense pain comes to mind. But the nerves are constantly on fire unless I am just totally immobilized sitting in my chair. The weight of a t-shirt is uncomfortable. And I swear you could put a feather on it, I could feel that too. And it's a uh, intense nerve pain. It's about the only thing I can say. Talked to three doctors so far. They said it's a common side effect as the nerves are regrowing. Could last several months and that really sucks uh, healing up let me flip the camera around and show you doesn't look bad at all now you can see it all the other scars are healing up inside my leg and everything this is real numb right here where they took the vein out and spliced it but it's healing so anyway, I uh, had a buddy of mine doing some bush hogging at the farm for me. And he called me Saturday, right around three o'clock, and said a drunk had took out 250 foot of five wire, barbed wire fence on the front. I said, oh shit. So me and Jerda went up there and uh, yep, he took out 250 foot of five wire fence. and. Fortunately, I had T-Post, a uh, fence stretcher, splicer machine. I've got two of those gas-powered post pounders. Uh, one weighs about 65 pounds, the other one weighs about 40 pounds. Of course, I got plenty of wire. So she and I worked till 10.30 at night, uh, straightened that mess out. Uh, and I think I overdid it. Because Monday, uh, they needed me to go into my old factory to give them a hand there. Wanted George to come too to help train some more employees. And got home. Well, I spent four hours up there. And got home Monday. And I was just uh, hurting real bad Monday evening, all day yesterday. And slept most of the afternoon today. And uh, other than the hypersensitivity which is very very difficult to describe I'm not doing terrible so coming along about to get bored uh, about all there is really if I get to uh, find a Dyna series I got a dealership looking for me of course I'm checking Craigslist about 10 times a day problem is you know if it's a deal it's sold real fast I mean, real fast and uh, matter of fact, we were supposed to go this past Saturday uh, to this side of Dallas. A little independent dealer had one over there. He had it priced right. And uh, had the money in hand. We're loading up the truck. I checked my phone. I'd received a text message from the man that he'd already sold it, which I don't blame the guy. Uh, somebody shows up, money in hand, 
versus me talking to them on the telephone and 110 miles away, I would have sold it too. So, ain't no big deal. Keep on looking. Anyway, about all for this one. I'll keep you all up to date. Uh, might have something interesting to post here tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to try to go up to the farm this weekend. The high is supposed to be 76 or 78. And get in my new uh, cab tractor with air and radio. And if I'm going slow speed, it shouldn't beat me to death. Uh, driving a tractor doesn't hurt. It hurts more driving a truck. So I might be able to get up there and finish mowing where my buddy, he mowed a lot. He, he did me a hell of a kindness. But I'll try to get up there and finish mowing at least the front part and uh, check on things and keep on plugging along. That's all for this one. Thank you.